What's up, Code Bros? If you want to give your brain blue balls, I would suggest that you take some time and read what the tortoise said to Achilles. Lewis Carroll put this thing out in April of 1895, and it will shake your belief in logic in the real world. Fortunately for us, we're not too worried about the real world. We're interested in Python dogs, so all we've got to do is learn how logic works in pythons. We don't have to worry about any tortoises, any Achilles, or anything Lewis Carroll did. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at logic within Python. All right, as you may recall from previous videos, there are two logical values that we care about, and Python's always going to recognize those. Those values are true and false. And when we evaluate things logically, we're going to come to one of those two conclusions. Now remember that we can assign variables logical values. Oh, if we can type that is, we can do that. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use the words true and false as they appear in Python, and I'll swap in variables maybe occasionally, but, but for the sake of clarity, I'm going to try to stick to true and false so we can see what's going on. Alrighty, unless you went and read every Lewis Carroll link on Wikipedia, you're probably going to be okay with me saying true is going to be true and false is false. That's pretty simple. But when we use these things in conjunction or disjunction or in relationship with each other, it can be confusing, especially when the values are obfuscated by variables. So we're going to go through step by step and look at how Python handles those relationships. When I talk about conjunction, I'm talking about what most of us would call the word and, and thankfully it's what Python calls and as well. So if we evaluate true and true, that's going to come out as true. And in the same way if we evaluate true and false, it's going to evaluate to false. And so what that Boolean conjunction is, that and operator, is only going to return true if both pieces, things on either side of that conjunction, are true. So that's not too terribly unintuitive. So if you've got a false anywhere on the first piece, on the second piece, it's going to evaluate to false. But something that you should be aware of in Python uh, that you should pay close attention to is that this is a short circuit operator. And it only evaluates the second argument if the first argument is true. Now why does it do that? We take a little bit of time and think, should be relatively evident. If the first term is false, it's always going to evaluate to false. So Python doesn't take the time to evaluate the second argument, a short circuit. May not matter in most cases, but something you should be aware of. So to give you an example of this working, we'll say 7 greater than, greater than 3 and 2 equal to 5. That'll come up as false. Obviously, the first term there is true, second term is false. It evaluated the first term, moved to the second term, and then evaluated our Boolean AND. Nothing too wild or complicated, just stuff that you should have clearly in your head before you start working too much with conditionals. The second one we're going to look at is the OR value. OR works differently than AND, and it works like this. True OR false returns true. Similarly, false OR true returns true. The only thing, in fact, with the OR operator that will return false is when both of the terms are false. It only takes one of them to be true to evaluate as true. So nothing too terribly wild there. And again, this is a short circuit operator. So the note here from the official Python documentation, Python will only evaluate the second term if the first argument is false. And that's a time-saving trick for the program itself, especially when you have large and complicated things, uh, you know, large formulas for determining a truth value on either side of that operator, uh, not evaluating one of the arguments can be meaningful. And it can also be meaningful in how you structure your code, something to be aware of. Now the last operator we're going to talk about here is not, and all that's going to do is toggle your truth value, flip it back or forth. Nothing too wild here. I understand this is a very dry subject, but it's one of these things that you just can't get wrong. If you do, you're going to have all kinds of trouble. So it's worth your time to do some memorization here. Do some learning. Get yourself very comfortable with Boolean operators. There is a wealth of information available. Take yourself to Wikipedia. Spend some time on truth tables. Go ahead and read the, uh, the Python documentation itself if you like, but do what it takes to get yourself into a place where you are very comfortable with 
Boolean operators and truth values in Python. Alrighty, so again, this is Ed for my bring back. Hopefully I'm not boring you to death. Hopefully you continue to draw breath and live and then continue to come back, watch these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hang out with us on Facebook, get in on them Google Hangouts and involve yourself with all the good things coming forth from my bring back.